thank you all for coming out. With Colorado at full employment and the recession unlikely retaining and attracting employees is going to be increasingly more difficult. Institutions of higher education can partner with business so that we can actually help in the challenges that you are currently facing and or will face. We will be giving you today some insights as to what we're learning with our business partners and how we are working with them towards helping you educate and inform your workforce so that they can be upskilled to be the type of employees that you can retain and move forward. When we're looking at this though, it's really in the best interest of your business to continue to provide educational opportunities. Some of these things shouldn't come as any surprise when it comes to better recruitment, better retention, succession planning, um, reduced risks, and then of course, the ultimate bottom line of increased revenue. We do this through a variety of programs, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, continuing education programs, and then as of this last year, we've added some short-term certificate programs. The reason it's been successful for us is we have a unique mission about serving working adults. We're focused on non-traditional learners. So our average student age is 35 years old, they're working full-time, and they're married with children. They're looking for opportunities to advance their career, and they need to do that while fulfilling their other obligations, whether that be to family, their career, to their jobs, or to their community. When you're looking at the student's perspective, we make sure that we're delivering we align them with industry certification exams, and then we're tracking those outcomes in real time beyond the classroom into their professional life. 98% of those employers say that our alumni were satisfied or very satisfied with their CSU Global graduate currently working for them. It comes from working with organizations like all of yours that allows us to help align with the industry needs. As we move forward, one, the jobs in the future are going to require higher education. Two, the next generation values and understands what higher education will provide them as they begin their college career. What we really want to do here right now is to understand how higher education can absolutely partner. The ability to find qualified employees is just so much more difficult than it was even a few years ago. And in some of these fields, we've entered into a poaching economy. Higher Ed is not yet producing or preparing enough folks in the cybersecurity or in certain IT fields, which basically means different businesses, whether it's healthcare, financial services, manufacturing, are having to poach these back and forth. There needs to be more uh, partnerships between business and higher education. It can be a four-year, it can be the local two-year college, it can be a CTE technical college, but the fact is that by integrating with an organization or a higher ed institution that can help you upskill your employees, you can decrease those onboarding costs and build a workforce that's going to be available for you for the years to come. One of the things that I want to talk about today is educational assistance programs that employers can offer to their employees. We typically see an investment of about $5,250 for each employee from the different companies. That usually means there's not a tax implication to the employee, so they can add that to their income, get that educational benefit, and not have to pay taxes on that. We're trying to make this process simpler for people so that they aren't scared to try to apply. Everybody qualifies for something as long as they meet the basic requirements. Create a plan for yourself where maybe you include your employer reimbursement first, that's free money, any Pell Grant, and then fill the gap with your subsidized loan and maybe start making payments while you're in school. You could avoid interest altogether. A lot of organizations and companies, probably many of you in the room, actually have very robust training programs that you put your employees through. And we can actually work with you and look at what your curriculum looks like for that, what the outcomes are, and articulate that credit so that we can actually then transfer those toward a degree program. We take ACE accredited as well as military credit, and we really try to see how many credits can we put into their program so that that lowers the cost, it lowers the time to completion. And at the end of the day, we have employees who feel that you've invested in them, they're investing in themselves, and we're getting people who are highly engaged in the workforce. We do offer a discounted tuition rate as part of our basic affiliate partnership, and that is a 10% discount to our students. Uh, we also want to partner with those organizations so that we can have a URL that is featured on their employee benefit website. If an organization has a more in-depth partnership with us, we will have a link and a specific landing page 
on the CSU Global website that highlights that partnership and some of the benefits that are available for those employee students. And we are currently working to expand these next level partnerships. This might be training and development that you offer internally that is developed with the needs of a specific employee and employer in mind. For our students, uh, we want to have job postings for those affiliates. We also look for opportunities for our affiliate partners to partner with us on internships, uh, practicums, and apprenticeships. So we do have opportunities for business leaders to help us ensure that our curriculum is relevant and, and advising us on what current topics need to be included in a degree program.